similar to yours. It's the same coating material. We use a dam and fill method. Um, it's UV curable, also has a secondary heat cure. To break it free, I found the easiest way um, is to apply some more heat. We're going to apply it right where that processor is. Um, we're going to try freeing up the same pins that you guys need to free up on your end. I'm going to use two main tools. I got um, some orange sticks, cuticle sticks sometimes they're called, and a small scalpel. Um, I like to take and just go right over the top of that processor because it has a nice hard body. You don't run the risk of damaging it. And you can see the material start to come up. And it just flaked away. Then I take my orange stick and I go along the side that has the leads, um, trying not to damage them. And as I go in there, I pull up to try to break the material free of the board and you can see it separating apply a little bit more heat You can also use a small set of diagonal cutters if you are careful not to cut the board to try to get this stuff off. right off. So now your circuitry is exposed. Um, that's a gold wing cart. You can do a couple different things to attach that jumper wire if you want. Essentially if this is the component your lead will come out and lay on the pad like that. You can either solder your jumper wire directly to that lead or you can heat up the lead breaking the solder joint free right here on the SMT pad and pop that pin up and then solder to it. Um, whatever your guys' skill set is, they're both about the same to me. Um, I would go through and top this off with a uh, um, silicone or RTV adhesive. And you can tell it's not going to be like it was because you see you've broken the bond from the board um, and the material right there. So keep that in mind when you're trying to fix it.